So in order to illuminate the face of the Apple Watch, it has to move, rotate. When you're paddling, um, you would lift your, lift your arm. This has been set up, this is actually the Nike face, which I have no I have no need or interest for the Nike workout icon, but I can't get rid of it. Uh, when paddling, uh, just to see the, the time, this was the best display, the bright yellow. Um, this one, you get to choose the apps on the face for uh, quick use. This is just a straight up basic weather app. And you want to get back to the main, you um, press this button. This is the one that I want to show you. This is water speed. Um, so it has a big button for start. The second I push start, it's going to go into water lock mode. That is the water lock mode there. Uh, and whatever that does inside the watch to increase the um, water resistance, waterproofing. Um, I pretty much strictly use this watch on the water. I'm having absolutely no problems with it. So this is actually called the the crown here um, and I'll show you how to use that to unlock the uh, the water water lock mode so the secondary button is here and what's important about this one is that if you have an emergency out on the water you can press this and it's going it, it it goes to SOS mode. I'm not going to keep pressing it because then it will actually call uh, 911, but I'll show you again. You're having an emergency, you're out of the water, uh, you're close up to land, you know you have a signal. There it flashes on. That's the SOS uh, mode and you would just simply continue uh, to press it and it's going to make that emergency call for you. Okay, so uh, I'm done with uh, water speed. It's locked. That means the face is actually locked. So I'm going to press the crown and now I'm actually going to rotate it. So here it says rotate it, rotate the crown, um, and now it's unlocked. Now that it's unlocked, I'm going to swipe the face and I'm going to turn water speed off. So while you, while you can access uh, some metrics uh, from your workout from the watch face. What I do is I go to the app on my phone and I tell it to sync with my watch and I bring up the metrics there. Uh, it's important to understand that apps are written specifically for the Apple Watch and you don't have the variety that you have uh, with, the, with the iPad or iPhone. Um, another app uh, I'll show you I'm going to press this button and this is going to take me to my apps. It's going to default for me, show the ones I use uh, the most. And here I'm at all my apps. And I'm going to, as you scroll through, they'll get bigger. This is the one here. It's hard to see. Hard to see uh, for Padalogger. So, this one has a big start button. I'm going to start. This one has a two minute countdown. You definitely want to get into the habit of realizing that you're, you're on the beach um, and you want to go ahead and start your app uh, ahead of time uh, before you get. Because this one also goes straight into uh, water lock. Um, so there's the settings. I let it count down. I guess I don't know how to. Oh, maybe that stopped it. This one I'm not using so much. This one is more uh, entry level, but it has an emergency feature um, that might make you decide that this is the app 
that you want. So something else I'm going to show you is the band that I selected. I got the, the large face uh, sport uh, watch, basically the, the most expensive Apple watch uh, out there. Um, and I spent, I think, $20 on this band. Uh, what you notice here is that it doesn't have any pins here. And granted, my, my 1299 uh, knockoff G-Shock has pins. It ne never broke. It really took a beating. Um, and I, I found the, the larger band with this type of clasp uh, comfortable uh, for me. So this one, I, I just keep an eye on here. If I started to see anything tearing, of course, I would uh, replace this. I have to say, uh, this whole watch is taking an absolute uh, beating uh, because I'm, I'm on the water with it and I do wear it while, you know, when I'm working in the yard and, and that kind of stuff. This is a bump guard. Uh, there are watch bands out there that will actually have a full cover on it and the problem with that is of course you can't touch the screen. This has a protective screen on it, the same kind of thing that you would put on your, your iPhone, but I find that the bump guard uh, takes care of um, any other issues uh, I might I might have just you know brushing something as I'm walking past something or I haven't really I don't really bang anything with it uh, when I'm paddling so this particular watch band also you have to insert the Apple watch proper into it the proper sequence um, the, the button side goes in first and then you you push it in. I did uh, once come back from paddling and saw that it was wonky and somehow it had started pushing out. Um, I don't know what I did that could have made that happen. So um, a little not happy about that. This could be a little bit improved, maybe a secondary something across the, the back to make it a little bit more snug. Uh, but at this point, I just take a look at my watch every once in a while and make sure it, it uh, hasn't shifted and that it, it fits correctly. There, for this particular band, um, which is has a very strange name, a unicorn beetle subcase, which stands like it's for stand-up paddle but doesn't, um, that's that's this this brand. Um, I went for something that looked like orange. I don't really know what color this is. Melba. Um, what else can I say about this watch? Uh, let me show you the EKG feature. Um, this has been very interesting. Prior to really starting my OC1 regiment, I had a resting heart rate of 60 and um, now that I'm regularly practicing, I have a resting heart rate of uh, closer to 55. So let me unlock this and show you this one. So I'm going to go to apps. And here it's the ECG. So in order to demonstrate this, I'm going to hold the crown down. I'm standing and I've had coffee, so I have a higher heart rate right now. Um, while you might find this valuable just for general uh, health uh, data, um, the heart tracking while paddling does work really well and you'll find out that the water speed app integrates this uh, in the um, paddle logger does not so you have better uh, health integration and much more detailed metrics uh, on water speed than you do on paddle logger um, but a friend of mine uses paddle logger. Uh, she's uh, more of a novice paddler. She loves it. 
Um, and I, you know, I wish that uh, Paddlelogger's uh, emergency text notification system was part of water speed, but I can't, um, to my knowledge, can't run both apps at the same time. Um, and uh, that's that's basically it. Now I'm back to my watch face. I want to go to water speed. I want to start. So forth.